some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video, I've got a soft tar double header for you. The first video takes us to a courtroom where a uh, soft tar tries to play games with a judge over a traffic violation. And, well, the judge has no time for his games and winds up, well, charging him for his violation. And, well, the soft tar is definitely flabbergasted over that. And then we have a uh, short video of a soft tart who decides to play a F around and find out with a police officer from Edgewater, Florida, and ends up, well, getting himself arrested for his troubles. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching these two idiots make total fools out of themselves for this uh, nonsensical, ideological, nonsense garbage called sob tartary. But I digress. Let's just get into the video, shall we? Calling case number 24, RO04189. This is people of the City Royal Oak versus Anthony Winston Mathis. Mr. Mathis, are you available? Yep. Good morning. No, I'm rising. You are Anthony Winston Mathis? Uh, no, I'm Anthony Mathis, the living man, here in special appearance. Oh, oh okay. Uh, where is Anthony Mathis, the uh, corporate fiction, the one that uh, is the holder of the paperwork, or uh, more specifically, is actually the corporate paperwork instead of the living man that sits before us? Because, you know, uh, they... The soft cards get confused on that. Are you the living self, the corporate self? Are you the paperwork? Or are you the flesh and blood? I mean, make up your mind. For Anthony Winston Mathis, also acting in my proper capacity of the trustee of the trust. Very well, Mr. Mathis. Um, today's the date and time for your informal hearing. The citation before the court, Mr. Mathis, indicates that on May the 24th of this year, at approximately 9 p.m., you are operating a... 2024 Ford Edge, black and color on 11 Mile Road, air near Washington, in the city of Royal Oak. And at that place and time, you committed the civil infraction of impeding traffic. Impeding traffic, sir, is considered a lesser included offense within nearly any moving violation. And Officer Moran indicates in his detailed note that um, your vehicle was on East 11 Mile Road at Washington and disobeyed the traffic signal um, the officer had a green arrow and therefore driver had a red light mr mathis you have three options and three options only sir in the protection of your own rights you may sir admit responsibility in this manner the court will attach the scheduled fine and that will close the case or mr mathis you may admit responsibility with an explanation that you believe mitigates these circumstances or you will have every right to deny responsibility and the court will swear the parties and will take testimony. What would you like the court to do for you today? Well, I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Um, the court does mind. You need to make a plea. I am required by law. No, I, don't, I, I, I don't plead to anybody. I only plead to the most high. Who are you? I am Magistrate William Urich, P43273. I am a sworn judicial officer of this district we are here for your informal hearing that you requested. This court is required by law, procedure, and court rule to take a plea. The motorist requesting this informal hearing, that being you, must make such a plea. You may admit responsibility in this matter. I don't plead to anybody but God. You may no admit God. with an explanation, or you may deny responsibility, and the court will swear the parties and will take proofs. What would you I have the plead. court do for I you today? I, I don't plead to anybody. Very so well. Question. Officer um, Moran. Uh, and Mr. I, Mathis, I, I, please raise your right hands. A, I, I do have a question. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you shall give before this court shall be the truth? So help you God. I do. Thank you very much. Please proceed. Well, the judge is not exactly going to play with this idiot. I mean, he wanted a plea, and uh, well, the softard refused to deliver. So why bother uh, pretending at this point? I mean, innocent until proven guilty. So you might as well go through with the trial, right? 
Magistrate on May 24, 2024, at approximately 9 p.m., I, Officer Moran, was in the area of East 11 Mile in Washington when I observed uh, 2024 Ford Edge Black and Color with Michigan Plate Edward John Lincoln 6501. I was at the light at East 11 in Washington when I had the green arrow to turn. Uh, that, that vehicle then proceeded through the light. Um, as I looked up at the traffic light, that light was red for that driver. Very well. Um, and with respect to your selection of citation, um, you elected to simply issue a ticket for impeding traffic. Is that correct? I, I did, Magistrate, at that and time. That's based on your, your discretion, your training, and your experience. It is. Thank you. Uh, you obviously have the right to rebuttal if you choose to use it, um, Officer Moran. Mr. Mathis, it is now your turn. What would you like the court to know, sir? So uh, I have a question. Are, are you a judge? Mr. Mathis, the court has already indicated it is a sworn judicial officer. It is exercising its jurisdiction lawfully over you. So questioning the court's authority. Yeah, you don't you don't is, I, you don't have any jurisdiction over me. I would argue you don't have any jurisdiction. OK, Mr. The, Mathis, the officer has already testified as to the facts of the case. It is now your turn to testify. You can tell the court anything you wish the court to know. Focusing solely on the events of the date in question. What would you like to tell the court? Uh, the plaintiff is the city of Royal Oak. Please bring the city of Royal Oak. Where's the city of Royal Oak? Ah, uh, yes. It's not a jurisdiction issue that he's trying to question at this point. He is trying to uh, point out that uh, no victim, no crime, that the uh, state cannot uh, be the victim and all that. I mean, at least that's what I think he's trying to get at. I mean, he's wanting the city of Royal Oaks to be at this particular spot, apparently. And, uh, well, uh, I would suppose that it would be the officer who would be a representative of that city, considering that he was the one that uh, wrote the ticket. I mean, that's the one you've got to face, is the one who wrote you the ticket in this case, you moron. The officer is representing the city of Royal Oaks, sir. Where's the, where's the city of Royal Oaks? Are you asking where it is geographically or where are you asking is, where it is in right terms now, of who's present on behalf of the city of Royal Oak? Where is the city of Royal Oak? Please bring the- Or doesn't understand your question. Are you asking where it is on a map or where is the officer? No, I'm, I, I know exactly where it is on okay. the, ge the geographic location, but where are they right now? The officer is representing the city of Royal Oak as a sworn and certified Michigan peace officer. So what else would you uh, like to tell the court, Mr. Mathis? And please, again, the court suggests that you focus on the events of the date in question. OK, uh, well, could you please bring forth uh, the injured party? Was anybody injured? This is not a tort case, Mr. Mathis. It is a case written well, the under officer, the vehicle officer. code. As of I was the traveling, city of Royal Oak, as it is adopted, um, as I was as I was traveling, the officer turned on the lights. No one was injured. So please bring forth the injured party. Based on the Constitution, the Sixth Amendment right, I have a right to face my accuser. If the plaintiff cannot come to court, then this shall be dismissed. That's failure. Mr. Mathis, is there anything else you wish the court to know? Please bring forth the injured party. If no one, if no, if you can't bring forth the injured party, then this needs to be dismissed now. Mr. Mathis, is there anything else you wish the court to know? You guys can't bring anyone forward as far as the injured party. No one was injured. You guys Mr. Mathis, I will ask eight. you one more time. The officer is representing the city of Royal Oak. This is not a case alleging physical harm or breach of contract. Why are you trying this to is, charge This me? is a civil case Why are you under trying the to Motor charge Vehicle me? Code um, as it was decriminalized in 1979. This is a civil matter. The burden of proof is a preponderance of the evidence. The officer has testified as to what he observed, and it is now your turn to testify as to what occurred. Um, there is no requirement under the rules of procedure, civil in this operation as of today, that requires a quote unquote injured party to be present. The officer has stated very clearly and fairly and plainly what he observed that day. 
So as to your testimony related to the date in question, is there anything else you would like the court to know? Decriminalized back in 1979. So, uh, yeah, where's your argument now, Savtard? The judge explained it succinctly and perfectly that even a uh, mindless zombie such as yourself can figure it out. But you know what? I don't have much experience with uh, mindless zombies, so I can't really be sure of that. No, it isn't. If you guys can't bring any injured party, you, well. injured, you guys are. Mr. Moran, to any rebuttal testimony? No rebuttal testimony. Thank you so much. Um, Mr. Mathis, the burden of proof in a civil case is a mere preponderance of the evidence. The officer, a duly sworn and certified Michigan peace officer representing the city of Royal Oak, um, which is one of two cities uh, upon which this court has jurisdiction, um, has put his testimony forward. There is nothing in the record that has rebutted any of it. Translation, your lame-ass soft-tart arguments didn't work here. So congratulations, dude. You're not a law scholar, but you are a moron. Um, therefore, the court is finding you responsible for the citation as it was written. The fine for that serves $175. That is payable oh, through the not, portal I, no, on I the not, I, I would not court be, website. I, or I you may walk a cash check or charge fine. into the court court district court. Fine. Please don't interrupt the court, sir. You may walk a cash check or charge into the 44th District Court at 400 East 11 Mile Road, Monday through Friday, between 8.30 and 4.30. That's due within seven days, Mr. Mathis. If you take exception to the court's ruling, you may post a bond in the amount of $175 within seven days, and the matter will be placed upon the formal hearing docket of the Chief Judge of the District, and at that time, the City of Royal Oak would be represented by a City Prosecutor. So either a bond or a fine of $175 Payable within seven days. That completes your hearing. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you gotta love this judge. He wasn't gonna play around with this Savtard. He must have dealt with his kind before. Good on him. Bravo. Bravo, my man. So, at any rate, we've got a, uh, another Savtard video lined up for you. And this one is a no-nonsense officer who's just not gonna deal with the Savtard spiel at a traffic stop. So let's enjoy that video, shall we? I'm native, so I'm gonna record all this. Okay. Yeah. I need your driver's license, registration, and no. proof of insurance. Why, why do you need my driver's license? First of all, why are you pulling me over? Nope. I need your driver's license, your registration, Hold on, we're gonna and do proof this again. of insurance. I, I study law. Okay. And I'm not a dummy, and I know everybody down okay. at that office. You got about two seconds to give me your information, or you're gonna go to jail. You study law, but you uh, fail to realize that there are laws on the books that require you to identify yourself at a traffic stop in the state of Florida. Uh, yeah, uh, dude, uh, if that's truly the case, then how the hell did you miss any of these statutes? Because you do have to identify yourself at a traffic stop. You do have to provide proof of insurance. You do have to have vehicle registration. So, uh, what is your, uh, excuse at this point, dude? I mean, are you really studying law, or are you just one of these soft tarts who uh, try to blow smoke up people's asses. I am willing to wager that it's the latter. Unfortunately, uh, some of these officers know better than uh, that. You can't blow smoke up their asses. In fact, they'll end up smoking you. It's as simple as that. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I want you to repeat that. Two seconds. I got two seconds or I'm going to go to jail. Yep. I need your driver's license, your registration, and your proof of insurance. Or you're going to go into handcuffs and you're going to go to jail. You know that's illegal? It is not. It actually is. It actually is. Can you call your supervisor? Call your supervisor down here. Nope. No, you will call your supervisor down here. Nope. I want to speak to your I know my law. You don't I don't want to give me your stuff? You cannot touch me. Okay. No, you cannot touch me. Give me your stuff. Call your supervisor. 
call your supervisor. Why, why are you cuffing me? What the hell are you doing? What are you doing to me, bro? What the fuck? I thought you had surgery. I don't care, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god, bro. Oh my fucking god. Call Mayor Diesel and call your supervisor right now. You are 100% 12 absolutely wrong for what you just did to me. I'm going to file you care, suit. You can slow everybody down. I'm going to file suit. Call your supervisor. You address to Jane and Lips. Call your supervisor. You just committed a crime. Okay. A felony. Okay. On fucking believable. You threw me. I've had neck surgery. Yep. Well, you shouldn't have been resisting me. I didn't resist you. I asked you okay. why'd you stop me. Wow, I'm gonna sue the shit out of you. Okay, good luck. No, I will win. It's a hundred thousand dollars for every violation. Yeah, sure, whatever, dude. Your speed schedule uh, is about as uh, valuable as the paper it's written on, which is to say, not very much. So I doubt you'll get a penny out of this anyway, because it's on the body cam that you violated Florida law to begin with, and, uh, well, you were given a chance at least to uh, uh, play along, and, uh, well, you might have been out of here without any trouble, but you decided to play the FAFO game. Congratulations, dude. You are a total nimrod. You are touching me without your supervisor present. Yeah, because I'm doing my job, buddy. No, it's not your job. You're actually yeah. violating my rights. No, I'm not. And on top of that, I'm Native American. Okay. Yeah, do you know, you're not even allowed to touch me, bro. That's not how it works. You're a commercial entity. You're not even a freaking part of the fuck, fucking my land, dude. You're, you're a commercial entity. Okay. Yeah, just keep on feeding us all that bullshit. Maybe something will stick. Maybe. I don't know. You only got charged with resisting without violence. It's a misdemeanor, $500 bond. You pay 100 bucks, you're out. So, I didn't even write you the, the tickets I could have. I just charged you with the one and we're calling it a day. And I'll be honest with you. If you'd have just gave me the stuff when I asked you, I wouldn't even wrote you a ticket and we would have been on our way. That would have been it. I don't even write, uh, dude, I don't even write tickets, man. I don't, they're expensive. I don't care to write. Well, it sounds like the officer was trying to be generous with you, but, but, you know, with you softards, you try to take things to the, uh, most extreme areas where they don't belong, and you play the FAFO game and find out the hard way that uh, the laws that you think are on your side are not exactly on your side to begin with because you misinterpret them. But if you want to play the FAFO game a few more times, then by all means, uh, get arrested as many times as you wish, and uh, maybe one day you'll learn. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to anything. anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening, Josh. I'm not. No, sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the third amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead. Uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name, and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to. Jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. You want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. 
That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. Also. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Why? Okay. I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys were arresting me for nothing. No. You know, you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. <laughs> Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Cause you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.